What's up guys? In this video, we're going to talk about the new A2P update that Go High Level just made. For anybody who doesn't know, the A2P update is a new texting guideline that we as agency owners and just business owners in the United States have to follow. If you're not in the US, then this video does not apply to you. But if you're in the US and you own a business using Go High Level and you're planning on sending automated text and even manual text messages, you need to make sure to register through the A2P guidelines. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that in this video. Please remember to like and subscribe and I'll keep giving you guys more free content just like this video. So the new A2P update is not something that's just go high level specific. This is for all business owners that plan on sending text messages out to their clients and their leads. This is something that all of the phone carriers decided. So like Verizon, Sprint, AT&T, they came together and said, we need to eliminate a lot of the spam text messages that a lot of people are receiving in the United States. And so this is why they're doing it. They're just making us go through a process of filling out a form and showing how we're gonna be sending text messages and the reason we're gonna be sending these messages. And basically we just have to fill this out for each sub account. So you have to set this up for your own sub account and then all the sub accounts for your clients as well. It takes like five minutes. It's not a huge deal, um, but you definitely want to do it or else you won't be able to send text messages. After July 15th, the text messages literally won't even send out if you don't have this application filled out. And I'm going to show you where to find that inside of Go High Level. So right now we're inside of our dashboard for this sub account. We're going to go down to settings at the bottom left and then we're going to go to phone number numbers. And then inside of the phone numbers tab, you can see we have this phone number purchased. And then we're going to go up to trust center right here. And then this is where we need to be right here. So we actually only have to do this part right here. And we click start registration, we don't have to do the business profile. Um, and we don't have to do these down here. But what we're going to do is we're just going to hit start registration. And then this is where you can select if your business has an EIN number, that's if you have like a legal business with the US. If you do not have a business set up yet, that's totally fine. You can select no right here and you can set it up and register without an EIN number. That's totally fine. If you're like starting out with Go High Level and just haven't formed an LLC or like an S corporation yet, that's totally fine. But for me, I do have an LLC set up for this Renew Energy business. And so I'm gonna go through with the EIN number and I'm gonna hit next. And then right here, it's showing us how much it's gonna charge us. I believe it'll charge us the 1654 plus the 441. So it'll be like $20 per phone number. It's just a one-time setup fee though. And it doesn't really let you click or select either of these. So we just have to select both of them. But anyway, we're just gonna hit next down here. And then right here, we're gonna fill in all of our business details. We're gonna put in our legal business name. It's important that you put in the actual legal business name, not just like your nickname for your business. So for this one, it would be Renew Energy Corp LLC. That's the full business name for this business. Uh, make sure to put in a business email. Um, a website if you have one, um, the business type. And so you can select which category your business falls under. Mine would be an LLC, limited liability company. Um, I'm not filling all of this stuff in. I'm gonna do it later. Business registration type, you can select EIN. And then you can type in your EIN number right here, which you can find on the documents when you filed for your LLC. Hopefully you have those somewhere and you know that EIN number and then the industry that your business is in and then the country of operation. So for us, it'd be US and Canada. And then once we fill in everything on this page, we're just gonna hit next. And then right here, we're just gonna wanna make sure to put in our full business address and then hit next again and then put in our first name, last name, email, the job position of whoever is filling out this form and then the phone number. And then once that's all filled in, we'll hit next right here. And then this is where we can select the use of the campaign. We're just gonna keep this one. This one's recommended and it's for low volume mixed use. So unless you're sending like tens of thousands of texts a day, this one will do. And it's only $1.70 a month. And then right here is where we'll actually type in the use of our campaign description. I'm gonna type this in and you can actually copy this. I'm gonna paste it down below this video where you can just copy everything that I have and I'm gonna put in right here so that you can make sure that your business gets approved. Because if you don't type in the right things or if you don't give enough like description right here, they won't approve your number and sending text messages through this sub account. And so we need to make sure to type in the right thing. And so I'm gonna type this in for my business, but basically what you can do is you can go in and just change the type of business, whether this is for your agency or this is for one of your clients, maybe they're like a real estate agent or something. You can literally just change the name of the industry and substitute it for the one that I'm putting in here. And uh, you can just use the same script that I'm putting in here so you can make sure you're approved 100%. So I just pasted this in here. And like I said, this will be down below the video so you guys can copy this, but this basically just says, 
This campaign sends automated confirmation and reminders to people who book appointments to discuss their options for solar energy. You can just replace solar energy with like whatever your business name is. It also sends long-term follow-up SMS that provides educational content about solar, how it works, the different types, the qualifications, and the application process, etc. It also sends occasional text messages to people who have opted in from Facebook lead form ads website forms and funnel forms offering free resources, checklists, guides, custom plans, etc. to check in with them to see if they would like assistance going solar. There are rarely, if ever, any links in any of the text messages being sent. Something like this will get approved, so that's good there. And then we're gonna hit next. And then in this part, we need to actually add some sample messages. We're gonna have like two different sample messages that they're gonna require here. And so I'm gonna paste those in here really quick. So these are the two texts that I came up with. Hey John, this is Jasper with Renew Energy. That's one thing these messages say is they must include your business name and then preferably like the name of somebody sending the message. And so. Just noticed you submitted a form on our website and wanted to see if you would be interested in booking a call with us. That's good for the first example. And then the second one, I said, hey John, this is Jasper with Renew Energy, just checking in to see if you saw our last message and we're still wanting us to email you our free solar pamphlet. So something like this is fine. These don't have to be like exactly like the text you're actually gonna send. They just need to be like examples of some sample text that you're planning on sending out to people for your marketing campaigns through text message. And down here, you can just leave these two unchecked. Um, A2P really doesn't like when you send links. Some links will send fine in the text messages, but others will get blocked and the whole text won't even send out. And then the message will include phone numbers. That's also another thing that's kind of weird. If you add phone numbers to text messages with the new A2P guidelines, some of those messages won't go through. And so just leave those unchecked and try your best not to put like links or uh, type the phone number in the messages that you send. And uh, then we'll hit next. And then the next part is how do the users consent to receive messages? So most times we collect a lead through some sort of form, whether it's a form on a website, a funnel, a Facebook ad, something like that. And so we're just gonna explain that it's gonna be through some sort of form. And so I'm gonna paste that in here right now. And so this is what I came up with right here. End users consent in a few different ways. They consent through submitting a form on our website, funnels, and Facebook slash Google lead forms. They also consent to receiving SMS verbally with our representatives over the phone. And so you guys can just copy this and type the same thing in. This isn't industry specific, so this will work for yourself and for all of your clients' sub accounts as you're registering for A2P. And then right here, opt-in keywords. The only two keywords that I use are start, and then comma, and then you can do subscribe as well. So those are really the only two words that you need here. It's not like your leads actually have to use these words. A2P guidelines just want you to give examples of possible like words for people to opt in. And then we need to do the opt-in message. And uh, you can see this example right here. And this is basically like what I copied. So I'm just gonna paste it in there right now. And so this is what I wrote right here. You are successfully opted in to receive SMS messages from Renew Energy. Please reply stop to unsubscribe. And so that's everything. And then at the end, once we filled everything in on this form, we'll hit submit. Once you've submitted everything, if you've done it the way that I've done it in this video, you should get an approved message within like 10 minutes. It's actually really fast. So you and your sub account or any of your clients and their sub accounts, if they do this, it shouldn't take very long. If it's taking long, then they probably didn't set it up right. And they probably didn't type in the right stuff in that form that we were just on. And so it'll really max take maybe 24 hours to get that approved. But if you don't get it after that, then you can go back into the form and you can edit it and do it the way that I've done it in this video and it should get approved, no problem. Another thing that helps get the approval faster for A2P is if you have the business profile part filled out first. If you do both of these together, I think the whole approval process will just go a bit quicker. But if you don't have a business set up with like an EIN and an official business, that's fine. You can just do this part right here. All right, guys, so that's everything you need to know about the A2P updates. It's a little bit of a hassle, but it's really not that bad. It takes like five minutes and I'm gonna give you that template down below this video. You can just copy all my answers and paste them into yours. Just make sure to change the industry and things like that and uh, you're good to go. If you guys are wanting to jump in to go high level and you haven't started yet, you can get a 30 day free trial down below this video. To be completely transparent, that's my affiliate link. So if you sign up with that link, I'll give you as much free one-on-one -on -one help as you need. I'll help you set everything up in your account and I'll give you all of my resources like my snapshots, my white labeled onboarding videos for clients. I actually added to those white labeled onboarding videos a video that shows your clients how to do the A2P setup that we just showed in this video on their own so that you don't have to do it for them. So they can just watch the video showing them how to do it as well. 
And so that'll just save you guys some time there. Um, that's for all my affiliates. And then if you're already using Go High Level and you just need some help, I've got a free SaaS masterclass down below it shows you how to use the entire Go High Level platform and set it up for success with a SaaS or a social media marketing agency. I really appreciate y'all sticking through to the end of this video. I love each and every one of y'all and I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.